ओके गुड डे ऑडियंस दिस इज मुस्तफा अहमद मिर्चावाला योर ट्रेनर टूडेज क्लास ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू डिस्कस दफ सेवन एफ आर फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग पेपर ओरिएंटेशन ओके सो दैट यू कम टू नो वॉट्स इन दिस इन पेपर एंड वॉट्स द स्ट्रेटजी टू क्लियर दिस पेपर आई एल डिस्कस थिंग्स इन डिटेल इन शाह राइट ओके नाउ first of all let me introduce myself uh, i have been teaching for almost last 18 years and i am the ceo of mirchawala sahab of accountancy uh, this institute is based in karachi but karachi pakistan but we have operations worldwide our online operations are almost in every country and we are teaching in english language as well as hindi language two languages we are offering till now okay and myself i teach uh, all all financial reporting papers right from the basic to the advanced like in acca for f3 f7 fr sbr strategic business reporting also icw corporate reporting right okay f6 taxation i teach right these all are my papers i also do corporate training with different ifrs training with different multinationals right and i am also a vlogger sometimes makes videos for the development of students and alhamdulillah in last past 15 years many of my students not only scored nationwide position but also worldwide position let me share let me share a document with you let me share my position document with you you can have a look see these all are the position you can see these are f3 positions these are taxation c all these are taxation positions this is fr this is sbr even foreign students also are online students score positions like see you can see saudi arab top many times saudi arab top right and worldwide positions as well so the journey is going excellent and i hope you guys also take full advantage of this teaching and you follow all our instructions which are which we are going to give you right okay so first of all financial reporting is the continuation f f f7 or fr is the continuation of f3 means first students do this paper f3 then fr then sbr and then p7 P seven is basically triple A. P seven is triple A, right? So these all this chain is connected. This chain is connected. So if you want to excel in SBR and P seven, you must have good grip. You must have excellent grip in F seven or FR, right? Okay. And if you if you want good grip in FR, your basics should be strong. Your basics of F three should be strong. But my teaching style is, I start things from scratch. I start things from scratch. So in FR paper. there are some standards which are also you studied all those standards in f3 as well like is 10 events after the reporting period they are like is 38 is 37 these these were also part of f3 but i'll teach these standards from scratch in this course as well okay so don't worry about it now what's the pass rate what's the pass rate of f7 what's the pass rate of f7 fr paper uh march 2020 i'm just giving you just two two passing rates and then i'll tell you the average march 2020 the passing rate was 44% and for december 2019 it was 47% right so the passing rate normally fr passing rate falls between 45 to 50% which is very good which is very good for a professional qualification like acc right okay and normally this passing rate is highest in part 2 in skills module if you compare with other papers there are papers like f5 uh, pm passing rate is 30% or 35% something uh, f8 double a audit papers passing rate is almost 38% or 37% so comparatively financial reporting passing rate is excellent okay so that's an opportunity for you to clear 
and normally that's why because of this good passing rate normally students opt this paper as the first paper as a first paper of skills module means after completing part 1 acca part 1 their foundation level they directly opt f7 financial reporting paper because of the good passing rate okay right one more thing i would like to add because of this paper this paper will be helpful for you in the audit firm as well so those who want to join audit firm or finance department of any company so they should also have a good grip in this paper fr paper right this paper will help you practically uh, in your in your real life right okay because we are going to study ifrs in this paper now uh, now the question is what's the paper format the paper format is the paper format is section a total 100 marks and there are three sections uh, 15 mcq section a there are there will be 15 mcqs two marks each and this is total 30 marks now the question is sir from where will we get from where will we get this area from from anywhere anywhere it's a mix it's a mix area the examiner may ask question may give question from anywhere consolidation is ratios any area they can give no fixed area no guarantee for this right okay now second area is section b in section b you will have three ot cases objective test questions uh, 10 marks each that is 30 marks now uh, hope you remember the ot cases like in f3 paper last 30 marks just think over it f3 paper last 30 marks OT case is like a scenario based question with five MCQs. Each OT case is a case with five MCQs or five boxes, five MCQs or five boxes, right? Okay. Now, do keep one thing in your mind. OT case are very dangerous because if in OT case, there are four options and you have to take true and false. If in any OT case, listen to me very carefully, if there are in any question there are four options and you have to take true and false and if you do one mistake you will get zero so it's like gambling it's like gambling win or lose you will lose everything if you do mistake in ot case you will lose everything okay so be very sensitive while doing ot cases so now the question is sir what comes in ot cases normally they test ifrs normally they test ifrs okay in the recent attempt they have tested ifrs 15 in ot cases they have they have tested ifrs 16 leasing in ot cases right okay so any normally this area comes from is ifrs now section c section c is constructed response area or sometimes we call it constructed response question crqs crqs right okay now in question in section c you will have two questions in section c you will have two questions at the rate 20 marks each at the rate 20 marks each so that means 40 marks that means 40 marks now hold see 30 marks 30 marks you can see from section a 30 marks marks from section a 30 marks from section b and 40 marks from section c this makes 100 marks total sir is there any choice in the paper there is no choice my dear student no choice 100 all 100 marks are compulsory marks you cannot leave anything you cannot leave anything you cannot leave anything okay now from section c which areas comes from section c which areas comes from section c in section c you may get first of all final account question first of all you may get final account question of 20 marks now what is final account question wait i hope you remember i hope you remember f3 company accounts in f3 when you you guys were doing company accounts topic so your teacher used to teach you like this there is a trial balance given and few adjustments are given there is a trial balance given and few adjustments are given but to be very honest to be very honest in f3 level the adjustments were like the adjustments were like very simple like wait example Closing stock is equal to 40,000. This is the adjustment. Uh, machines are to be depreciated at the rate 20% on cost, right? Bad debts of 20,000 is to be written off. These were the kiddish, kiddish adjustments you guys used to study. Very basic adjustments you guys used to study in F3. But here in, in, in F7 paper, in FR paper, not only not only look, look at me 
you will get the trial balance as well you will get the adjustments of isifrs like in adjustment number one you may get is 16 adjustment number two is 37 adjustment number three ifrs 15 so basically here you will get in final account you will you will be tested with advanced accounting standards so in f3 the, it was very basic f3 was nothing it was piece of cake the depreciation adjustment 20 percent on cost 20 percent reducing balance method that was very very basic level but in f7 level the final account will be of good level okay so you will have so you will have you will have a full test of final full test of is ifrs and final account now wait traditionally traditionally years back final account question was like that that the trial balance is given trial balance is given and there are five adjustments are given trial balance is given and five adjustments are given so you need to you need to make soci that is income statement you need to make soci and sofp this was the simple requirement but with respect to time with respect to time now the latest questions are are from profit reconciliation means accountant has already made income statement in the question accountant has already made income statement in the question or accountant has already calculated accountant has already calculated the profit but that profit is wrong that profit is wrong so what you have to do you have to you have to start your journey from unadjusted profit or you have to start your journey from uncorrected uncorrected profit and then you you need to you need to adjust add or less few things and then you go to corrected profit okay so now the new questions are like that in that in which you will have you will have you need to correct errors as well you need to correct certain mistakes of accountant as well this is the latest fashion okay so in crqs the last section c uh, final account may come final account may come number two consolidation may come consolidation may come right 20 marks and consolidation is again very important just like in f3 you guys hope you guys remember in f3 you will have 15 marks you will have 15 marks compulsory 15 marks for consolidation compulsory variable marks were also there but fixed 15 marks for consolidation in f3 is there here you may get a complete question of 20 marks of consolidation complete 20 marks consolidation here right okay let me give you a little introduction of consolidation hope you remember the consolidation listen this is parent company and this is subsidiary company this is parent company and this is subsidiary company okay now parent company wants to parent company wants to buy parent company wants to buy running business parent company wants to buy running running business of s company okay so when one company wants to buy running business of another company they normally do it through ordinary shares they normally do it through ordinary shares so when one company acquires see this when look at the screen when one company acquires 50 percent plus ordinary shares of another company that means that company gets the control, gets the control of another company. That company gets the control, that gets the control of another company, right? Okay. So that means now parent company has taken over the control of S company. Now P company is called parent. This S company is called subsidiary company and their combination and their combination is called group of companies. Their combination is called group of companies, group of companies, right? Okay. And this is very common now in this world that there are many entities they they are parent company and they hold different subsidiaries even even this is also possible this is also possible that parent company is in one country and the subsidiary company is in another country that's also possible that's also possible right this is very common nowadays but once again this is not part of the f7 course that that is foreign foreign subsidiary consolidation is not part of f7 course that that will that will be tested in sbr that will be tested in sbr now i hope you remember when you were kids uh, f when you were f3 student so you might have studied this p2s p2s sales s2p intercompany sales intercompany sales uh, of inventory between parent and subsidiary subsidiary and parent so these things are also tested here plus in your f3 basic level you guys you guys just studied the inventory inventory exchange 
P2S and S2P sale of inventory. Here you will get, here you will have to study P2S and S2P sale of fixed asset. Here you have to study P2S and S2P sale of fixed asset. P2S and S2P sale of fixed asset as well. P2S and S2P sale of fixed asset as well, right? Okay. And there will be a lot of theory in consolidation like IFRS 10, IFRS 3 that, that we will also cover in this consolidation area, right? Okay. Now, so in, quest, in section C, you might have, you may get final accounts, 20 marks, or you may get consolidation of 20 marks. One more area, you may get ratios, ratio analysis, that is interpretation of financial statement, interpretation of financial statement. And what I have written, see, I have written here, very, very important, very, very, I've written three times, very, very, very important. This ratio analysis is very, very, very important here. Now, many students think that we have already done ratios in our A levels or O levels, even you guys have done ratios in F3, you guys have done ratios in F2, even those who have calculated, those you have done PM, performance management paper. In performance management paper, there is there are ratios as well. So this is very common. So people think that we have already studied this area. We have already studied this area, but the answer is no. Here, the ratios are different. F F7 level, F7 ratio, level ratios are a little bit advanced. F7 level ratios are a little bit advanced. They are different. F7 level ratios are a little bit advanced and they are different. They are different. Okay. Let me, let me give you some examples. Let me give you some examples. Right now, I'm not teaching any ratios. I'm just giving you idea. I'm just giving you idea that how you are going to study, how and which type of questions you may get which type of question you may get you may get in ratio analysis okay let's have a look now listen now you will be accountant listen you will be accountant of parent company in the questions in the ratio analysis question my dear students you will be accountant of parent company and you know, just imagine that parent company is very rich company. It's full of cash, full of cash. And parent company wants to acquire, parent company wants to acquire this running business of X company. Parent company wants to acquire the running, running, running business of this X company, this X company. Parent company wants to acquire the running business of this X company. Okay. Look at here. So whenever you want to buy running business of X company, so you will go to the, see the existing owners. Y group. These are the existing owners of X company. I repeat parent company right now planning to buy running, planning to buy, planning to buy run, running business of X company. So obviously they will buy from the existing owners. They will buy this business. They will buy this X company's business from existing owners and existing owners are Y groups. A Y group of companies are existing owners, right? So now before look at here, before buying anything, anything, just like if you want to buy a car, if you want to buy a second hand car, so obviously you check it, you check the engine, you check the paint, you check the denting when you check all these things that is that car is okay or not before making such a big payment. We always check whether we are getting the right product or not. Yes. Same is the case here. As we are going to pay, as we are going to pay millions of dollars for this running business as parent company is going to pay millions of dollars for this running business. So obviously parent company will check this company in detail, in detail, whether we are, we are buying the right company, whether we are paying the right price or not, whether we are, are we going to pay the right price or not? Obviously parent company will check. Now let's have a look at the problems. These, this Y group is the seller. Now this Y group is the seller of X company and P company is the buyer. So now apparently this X company looks highly profitable. This X company looks highly, highly profitable. And you know why this company looks profitable? Because there are many family transactions. There are many, many family transactions. Let me give you a few examples. The first example, let us say 
this x company makes tube lights this x company manufactures this x company manufactures tube light this x company manufactures tube lights okay so for tube lights the the raw material is glass so they used to buy glass from the y group of companies the same group they used to buy they used to buy glass from the same group of companies now as they all belongs to same group so they are getting this these glasses on 20% discount of the market price they are getting the glass on 20% discount from the market price okay so when they are buying the glass on discount that means their cost their costs are lower their cost are lower that means their cost of sales are lower so obviously the profitability is higher the profit is higher okay that's why this profit is looking artificially higher but just think once you buy once parent company buys this x company once parent company will acquire this running business of x company so this x company will no longer be part of the existing group this x company will no longer be part of the existing group so there will be no more discounts there will be no more discounts just think so that means the future profitability will be in doubt the future profitability of this x company will be in danger so before buying before buying you need to check all these things that whether there are family transactions in the group or not this is the first thing number 2 number 2 right now parent company is not the owner of x company please look at me and be very active right now right now parent company is not the owner of x company right now the owners are the these people y group of companies so these owners these directors these directors has given interest free loan these directors has given interest free loan to x company because they are owners owners may may support owner may support his own business that's very natural natural so directors has given interest free interest free loan to x company okay because they are owners as well but you know you know once once we'll buy once we'll buy x company then that loan will be repaid and then after that you need to take loan from market after that you need to take x company will need to take loan from the market and when x company will take loan from the market x company will have to pay market interest rate so there will be additional cost after the takeover there will be some additional cost after the takeover are you getting so before takeover the picture is different and after pay takeover the picture is different so now you need to be very carefully and you need to comment it very carefully third thing just i'm giving you ideas that how in practical life how you deal how you deal with situations you are buying a company you are buying a running business of company there may be possible there there is a possibility that that business that exists that x company is dependent on employees that x company is highly dependent on few employees like hospitals we have seen many of such hospitals in my i have seen my uh, many of such hospital those hospitals are dependent on doctors specialist doctors that almost 60 80 80% patients comes on the name of few doctors so if you have acquired such a business which is which is dependent on the name of employees and what if those employees run away after the takeover what if those employees run away after the takeover so that will be a total loss total disaster for us are you getting so before that you need to check it before before take over you need to check it same one more thing you need to check whether are there any cases are there any cases or any disputes or any obligations on this x company so you need to settle it before it you need you need you need to check all the court cases and all these things whether this x company has any obligation or not so my dear student take over is not an easy decision it's a big decision it's a big decision so here in f7 level normally examiner examiner gives such 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 questions 
in which you are the accountant of parent company and you have to guide your parent company you have to guide your employer that whether this business is lucrative or not whether they should go for this business or not so there are many other factors as well i have just i have just point, pointed out few of them i have just pointed out few of them okay are you getting are you getting my words please write on the chat box write on the chat box please all of you please reply okay now similarly there will be there will be lot of comparability issues there will be lot of comparability issues there will be lot of comparability issues for example just think this is 1st january 2018 to 1st january 2019 last year parent company was single company alone company parent company had no other subsidiaries parent company had no other subsidiaries last year right but this year but this year see this year parent company parent company acquired s company parent company acquired the running business of s company so just think this year you will be given group accounts this year you will have the comp the accounting is combined parent plus subsidiary this year the account is ing is combined parent plus subsidiary and the the last year there was only single parent company so now if you compare the last year result with this year if you compare the last year result with this year result there will be comparability issues because last year there was there were only 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 parent company but this year parent plus subsidiary this year parent plus subsidiary right so these things these these are these are very many small small points which you need to identify which you need to identify which you need to identify and comment on it which you need to identify and comment on it okay now one thing i always say to my students that computing ratios is not a big issue the ratio analysis calculation is not a big issue the real issue is the commentary 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 right i have one more very good example let me share with you let me share see this such questions also come for example now listen there was there was a hospital in which there were four doctors four specialist doctors last year okay there were four specialist doctors last year right and this year at the beginning of this year please listen my example very carefully at the beginning of second year one of them left one of that specialist doctor left they he left for canada let us say he left the country he left for canada he moved out to some other place okay so now three doctors are left three doctors are left here now wait 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 and in the question it was written there was a significant fall there was a significant fall in profits in this one year there was a significant fall in profits in this one year uh, uh, because of this doctor now as this one doctor left the company the other three doctors started crying the other three doctors started crying just li listen to the story that the profitability profitability went down because that doctor leave the profitability of the company the profitability of the hospital went down because 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 of that doctor 
but you know what's the reality the inside reality of this story was these three doctors had their performance also down their performance also went down so the reason of the profitability downfall were these three doctors as well so now so now wait if you compare this this year's this year result see this year result with last year result this is not compare this is not like with like comparison because last year there were four doctors last year there were four doctors and this year there is only three doctor so now if you want open your eyes the real dialogue i am going to say if you want to check the real performance if you want to check the real performance of these three doctors what you do you will go in the last year accounts you will go in the last year accounts and you will subtract that one doctor results that one you will subtract you will subtract you will eliminate that one doctor result who left okay so now the three doctors results you have in the last year you will compare it with the current year three doctors result you will come to know the real decline in the performance you will come to know the real decline of prof of profits of these three doctors of performance of these three doctors so this way we will we do analysis this way we do analysis and this is very interesting analysis now one more thing one more thing i have given you these examples i have given you these examples on doctors but in real real exam in real exam my dear student in in real exam you get in real exam you get questions with divisions that the, last year there were four divisions last year we there were four division and this year we sold one of them this year we sold one of them this year we sold one of them okay did you understand this point write a comment please if you understood the point please write in the chat box now students listen one thing i always recommend in my short videos my long videos my normal class that always read examiner report after each and every exam examiner publishes examiner report so it's my blind recommendation for all of you all of your audience that read the examiner report by reading examiner report you come to know what are the basic mistake what are the famous mistakes the students do while attempting the questions so let me share one example let me share one example with you guys it came in the latest paper and some students did this mistake and if you do this mistake that means your impression will be zero in front of examiner examiner will come to know that you guys haven't studied now wait in the question it was written c this is 2018 and this is 2019 look at here last year inventory was 5 million and now it is 7 million dollars okay so from the sofp it was clear that the inventory level has increased that the inventory level has increased now wait 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 what you have written in the question you wrote you wrote the you wrote in the commentary that company is not able to sell goods quickly or the sales are not going good like this you have written this comment listen i repeat after look, looking at the inventory levels the last year inventory level was 5 million this year it is 7 million last year the inventory level was 5 million 
this year it was it was 7 million it was 7 million right so after looking these inventory level after looking at these inventory level the inventory increased by 2 million the inventory increased by 2 million you wrote that uh, company is not able to manage the inventory and company is not able to sell the inventory without now you wrote this in my comment without looking at the actual sales in the income statement there was a drastic increase of sales like 3 million last year and this year sales is let us say 6 million this is 18 and this is 19 so just think you contradict you contradict with the question you have written in the commentary that company is not able to sell it sell good without reading without looking at the income statement then in the income statement the sales has actually increased so this if you do such mistake if you do such blunders then your impression will be zero examiner has said we we quickly understand that this guy has just learned the com commentary this guy has just learned the point uh, learned the commentary we don't give any marks and we consider that guy is very low level guy that means this guy can't work practically this guy can't work practically and you know the objective of these papers the objective of these papers to prepare yourself the objective of these papers to prepare yourself for practical life okay so be very careful and do read the examiner report even majority of my position holders they I, after after scoring position i sometimes ask students what did you do so they do many things including the reading of examiner report as well okay so don't forget so now let's come to the question again now after ratios you may get a question of socf statement of cash flow is7 statement of cash flow is7 okay so i hope you remember statement of cash flow statement of in statement of cash flows there are three activities operating activities investing activities financing activities operating investing financing operating investing financing activities okay so these are the three activities for which you have to work out but nowadays for last i'm telling you about last four five years this topic is out of fashion out of fashion means normally the feedback of student is that that normally it's not coming in last 40 marks but sometime ot case of ot case of ssf came right sometime with final account they give you eight marks or seven marks to make the in the cash flow from investing activities or cash flow from financing activities so yes it's part of course but looks like it's out of fashion but in professional exam you can't skip anything so definitely we need to give time for this as well definitely we need to give time for this as well okay right now don't forget that for in this 100 marks first in for first 60 marks there is no presentation for first 60 marks there is no presentation but for last 40 marks yes you have to present you have to present in a spreadsheet there is a software there is a constructed response area available in accglobal.com you can practice there even you can practice for some questions you can practice in excel but i don't recommend excel you should go you should go in the constructed response area and solve it you should go in constructed response area and solve these questions okay so in examiner report it is written that do practice this area in software so that on the exam day you can perform easily on the exam day you perform easily now some people think that this is very difficult that uh, from paper based to computer based examination computer based examination this presentation is difficult it's, it's not difficult it's not difficult i'm telling you because this shift is the shift is towards technology the shift is towards the technology the use of technology is increasing now okay so now with 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 the use of technology with the adoption of technology my dear student 
we normally get we normally go for high speed so yes this may increase your speed this may increase your speed this may increase your speed my dear student are you getting one more thing in all i have uh, in my life i have attended many times examiner sessions or teachers training sessions or marking sessions i have i have attended many times how to mark a paper this is very common you know listen you know the one of the major reason one of the major reason for failure is let me write one of the major reason for failure is poor handwritings and poor layouts poor handwritings and poor layouts this was one of in past this was one of the major reason for failure of students i am telling you i have attended such, such sessions but thank god now they no more handwriting now no more no more handwriting thing no more hand writing thing here because you need to type so you can save yourself but yes the layout is still there that how you work how you how you give headings how you underline it still the layout thing is there but handwriting no more handwriting okay so that's a good news for you but one thing you need to increase a little bit typing speed your typing speed should be little bit better okay and this how you can increase by practice typing speed you can get through practice okay so that's not not a big deal not a big deal one more thing let me give you one example when you guys when you guys used to do manual working see for example this is your income statement sales cost of sales gp blah 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 profit after tax this profit after tax goes in soshi statement of changes in equity right and then finally in sofp okay finally the retain earning finally the retain earning figures goes in sofp i repeat first of all you make the income statement first of all you make the income statement sales cost of sales gross profit i hope you remember i hope you remember this all and then you calculate profit after tax this profit after tax goes in statement of changes in equity statement of changes in equity and then the closing retain earning figures goes in sofp so it's it's all connected it's all connected now go back 4 5 years go back when there were no cb papers when the, there were there were no session cb there were only paper pen there were only paper pen look at here so let just think you have made a, you have solved a question and then after after solving the question you came to know you came to know that there is a mistake in sales figure after completing the whole question you came to know that there is a mistake in sales number so now what you you guys what you guys used to do you have to change the sales number and when there is a change in sales number your gross profit will be changed your profit after tax will be changed your soshi number will be changed and your final retain earning will be changed so in past you need to correct all these in past you need to correct all these but good news is that right now now no such things now no such things because when you do i hope you remember you you have a little knowledge i expect that you have a little 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 knowledge of excel or little knowledge of spreadsheet so in the spreadsheet in the spreadsheet look at here in the spreadsheet if you correct the sales number automatically this is also connected this is connected 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 just 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 correct the sales number everything will be corrected in seconds immediately immediately so this is all time savings this is all time saving and this is the use best use of technology best use of technology are you getting hit a message please hit a message please if you are getting hit a message
okay one more thing which i want to tell you right now as well and i'll tell you when i'll teach the excel you know if you have seen if you have seen excel in if you have done excel in your life or if you, if you have used a spreadsheet so just think this is a sales number and this is the cell of excel so normally students ask sir can we do calculation on calculator can we use can we do calculation on calculator and we write the ready made number we write the ready made number yes you can do it but if you want to do it then show the working here for example 5000 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 this is the working you have shown and then you do it directly in in the cell but if you don't if you are not showing if you are not showing this working if you are not showing this working on the sides then you have to apply the formula 5000 multiply by 2 divided by 3 then you have to apply the formula i hope you remember how to apply the formula okay so one of these things you have to do one of the either right on in the working side either right on the working side or 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 solve or apply the formula in the cell or apply the formula in the cell okay but if you miss these two things you haven't done this and you haven't done this as well you just write the direct number by using calculator then you, then you may lose marks then you may lose marks don't forget don't forget this advice and this is also written in the examiner report this is also written in the examiner report now this these all is ifrs are included in your course see see the screen please is1 is2 inventory is7 is8 changes in accounting policies changes in accounting estimates prior period errors then is10 events after the reporting period this you have already done in your f3 in this you have done in your f3 exams but don't worry we'll do it here as well is16 you have done in f3 and there is some advanced portion of is16 as well here the revaluation side then uh is37 is37 you have done in f3 is38 okay a little bit a little bit of ifrs 15 you have done in f3 right okay so but don't worry don't worry we'll be we'll be revising it plus this framework theory framework theory you guys also did in f3 but still these all things are part of your course and they are examined on routine basis so we cannot take any risk that's why we cannot take any risk we cannot take any risk okay now these standards wait let me highlight wait these ifrs 3 and ifrs 10 is linked to consolidation and that these standards we will cover in the consolidation side these standards we will cover while doing while doing consolidation while doing consolidation okay right now what's our strategy how we are going to cover this course let look at me and listen listen first of all we'll start our topics with is ifrs okay uh, we'll do accounting standards with some past papers exam kit and ot cases all accounting standard this will take a lot of time obviously there are many standards right but one thing which i always instruct to my students and i make it compulsory and i have seen a big benefit from this strategy that after completing each and every standard you have to read the book you have to read the book of that standard you must read the book of that standard that is compulsory in my class now some some students say sir what is the need of book reading your lecture is enough do you just give us short notes no 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 sorry let me give you answer you know 
the kaplan and bpp are official content providers kaplan and bpp are official content providers they are uk based and in every in every examiner report it is written in every examiner report it is written look listen my words use official content providers material use official content providers material use official content provider material it is written it is written in each and every examiner report so official content providers are kaplan and bpp and i would like to recommend you kaplan kaplan study text why i am rec recommending you kaplan study text because the language because the language of kaplan study text is easy to understand is easy to grasp right okay it's not that much difficult and in each and every page of kaplan study text there is one thing test your understanding or additional text edi expandable text so they try to explain you with easy examples so for is ifrs book reading is compulsory why book reading is compulsory first of all if you read kaplan book that means you are doing everything two times first of all you will study from me and then you will study from kaplan study study text so that means you are doing everything two times so this will give you more grip number 2 when you read the study text when you read the study text you find new questions when you read the study text you find new test your understanding short questions so this will give you more grip okay plus you know if you want to score good in ot cases and ot cases and mcqs so book reading is very beneficial because there is lot of theoretical discussion in book reading as well okay so please students do follow the instructions whatever instruction is given to you do follow it because i have shown you the history i have shown you the positions and all the students feedback this is all this is all for those students those who act upon my advice those who follow the instruction okay right now then after ias and ifrs once we'll done with ias ifrs then we'll start final accounts then we'll start final account what is final account final account is again again final account is again the revision final account is again the revision of is ifrs so whatever is ifrs you have studied you will again revise it in final account okay so this this is the first section of our course that that is full of is and ifrs and is and final account we'll also do excel questions as well then we'll start consolidation consolidation is a very good area around 8 to 9 classes non stop 8 to 9 detailed classes okay with practice then then we'll shift to ratios and cash flow and the framework theory and that's why that's how we'll end the course and i will also provide one thing after the end of the course i'll provide you the revision days i'll provide you the revision days of these course okay and one very special service we give to all our students and that is recommended by the acca body even the acca body the regulator is, is very connected to us and they on routine they ask these things you know if you want to increase the passing rate of students take routine test just like in school just like in college you guys used to give test here you have also give you have to give test we have our active testing department plus in our lms our learning management system now we have already almost almost our app is testing app is ready so how you will do it uh, let us say first of all i have taught is 33 to you guys so after the completion of is 33 you will contact our testing department they will send you the test you will solve this te that test and you'll send it back to the testing department they will give you feedback so that means if there are 20 lectures you will be you will 20 topics 20 is you will be tested 20 times right so that's very important that's very very important and believe me this also affects your result and in this way you can you can go with the you can go with the class in this way you can go with the class okay so testing is very important and don't forget to give the test on routine basis right okay are you getting i hope you remember this thing this is in our course there are ias and ifrs as well ias stands for international accounting standard and ifrs is international financial reporting standards both are applicable in this world right now both are equally applicable right uh, but what's the difference the ias are the standards launch before 
and those new standards they are after 2001 are ifrs new standards which are coming after 2001 is ifrs and before 2001 the standards which are launched before 2001s were ies but still these ies and ifrs both are applicable and both are tested and both are in our course okay so we are we are going to do it we are going to do both of them we are going to do both of them okay are you getting okay one more thing i would like to share that uh, i have calculated my own passing rate even in my in my country in my karachi our acca pakistan normally gives out the passing rate teacher wise so alhamdulillah alhamdulillah from last few years my passing rate is average passing rate is 80% and it exceeds the global passing rate it exceeds the global passing rate but again that's because the students read the book that's because the student follow the instruction that's because the student take regular classes okay so whatever i have i have told you if you act upon it so you will be in these 80% people if you don't act upon it you will be the residue right okay now let me share you the contact details my whatsapp number is 00923500 2555 744 right and this is the number of our admin department mr ansar and mr hussain okay so these are their numbers if you want to write you can you may write or you may contact and those who are attending the class they all they should also contact me after the class okay so that i will i'll tell you about the next class and what's our strategy onwards okay so now let me finally summarize the documents which you must have due for the class by kaplan exam kit number 1 Kaplan study text and there is one more book my book which I'll provide you guys in the form of handouts or that's my responsibility but you need to buy these two you need to buy these two Kaplan exam kit and Kaplan study text okay right hope you understood everything what I, what I taught you so inshallah inshallah we'll uh, from the next class we'll be starting we'll starting the international accounting standard so guys don't don't miss don't miss don't miss yes i'll share the slides don't worry i'll share the slides don't miss the next class okay and whatsapp me those who are attending the class kindly whatsapp me after the class so that we can proceed further thank you have a good day take care